Tala has been in existence in Kenya for five years now. This year we are actually celebrating five years in Kenya. And the mission that we have is to create financial access, choice, and, con- and control to the underserved globally. So when you look at the underserved, you're talking about financial services do exist, but the way the structures have been, they have blocked quite a number of people from accessing them. The primary reason being they don't have what's called a financial identity. The Rica came in 2016 and we had already been a year in the country. Now, did we see a significant shift in terms of growth of numbers when the rate cap came in? No. Our graph was just the same projected growth. And this is because of what I just mentioned, where we were talking about the underserved. The customers we have, or we were after, were still not accessing conventional loans anywhere. So rate cap or no rate cap, they still did not have that access. And it did not mean now that they cannot access from one side, they come to the next. However, what I can say is because now the mobile lending business is a bit mature in the market, there are more people who are inclined towards borrowing on such platforms more than it was in 2016. So our persona, okay. When we look at our borrowers, the 65% are between the age of 18 and 30. 85% are between the age of 18 and 45. So literally when you talk about do we target the youth, 100% we do. Because we start all the way from as soon as you're 18, you can come onto our platform. What are they primarily borrowing for? We have, it could either be starting a business or growing an existing business. And then those are the top two reasons, which caters for almost 70% of our borrowers. The other 30 would be either the usual, either medical emergency or next month we're going to see a lot of school fees borrowing because it's likely called. Then consumer needs as well fall under the top five. But we're happy to see the macro entrepreneurship and how we've enabled people to grow very small businesses to at least become something substantial. So how we count our customers, we look at the ones who downloaded the application, registered and borrowed. So those are two and a half million in Kenya. If we were to look at what you call vanity metrics, how many people have our app, it's much more than that. How many people have downloaded but not, or registered but never applied for a loan, it's much higher than that. But we don't count that. We only count the ones who have borrowed but we also don't neglect the ones with our application because we feel there was a reason why they downloaded and therefore at such a time when they feel they're ready, they can go through the motions of applying. We've been able to actually originate a billion dollars. So that's origination, how much you've been able to, to lend out, which is, which is very exciting. But we, we are in four other different markets. Kenya is the, is the oldest, is the most, most mature, so it, it caters for a higher percent. So you're talking about more than 60% of that comes from Kenya. And yes, yeah, so that's, that's actually what we have. When it comes to which markets have potential, we are always constantly looking. So remembering the fact that we are mission driven. So we are targeting the underserved population. So we'll go to um, let me say demographics where we feel there is a need to create a financial identity. So that would mean if you're looking at Africa, there is tremendous opportunity. And also in Asia, there's also tremendous opportunity. So, so far in the markets that we're in, we're only currently in Kenya and Tanzania for Africa, but there's lots of research that's currently being done to see which other markets can we go into because we're also in India, Mexico and Philippines. So lots of research coming through, but as soon as we are ready, we can disclose that, hey, here we are, we are launching another market. It's very easy to apply for a loan. Literally, some applications will dangle in front of you and tell you, hey, come in and borrow with that. So getting the loan for the consumer is not the issue. However, 
the issue comes in the fact that are we over leveraging that same consumer whom we were trying to help and that's because of the fact that there is data asymmetry within the country a company like Tala may submit information to the credit bureaus and share all the data but not everyone does because it's not mandatory unless you're regulated by the central bank so the likelihood of someone borrowing from one app then going to the next and the next is there but it can be solved through things like the credit bureau have accepting information from everyone which i think it's a, a regulatory conversation and also i think in the financial markets conduct bill there was um, an element where every lender had to prove they've checked for affordability so if that comes into play it will mean everyone has a mandate to check if i'm lending to you the die make sure that i fully understand your capacity to pay for a customer or for someone who uses financial services you will find when you talk about access choice and control the fastest way to get access would primarily be access to credit so if you tell someone you need to have banked with us for one year before i can give you credit and this is probably a micro entrepreneur it doesn't necessarily work in their interest because they need that money to be able to grow the business so it's it's like a chicken and egg situation so we came in to be able to provide that fast instance of credit and prove potential prove that this particular individual can borrow and repay and create a history now since we've already been able to do that the next step becomes what is our data telling us about why these customers are borrowing and as I was listing down these are the top reasons why they are borrowing the conversation becomes how can we customize and understand their needs and provide a product that is best suited for what they want our product right now is very vanilla we're talking about it's just a loan it's not specific to your type of business but the data science team are actually doing lots of homework to see what can we customize one thing we know we are not going to get into a much of customers have really been asking for it they keep asking yes you've educated us about money can we keep some money with you no we are not a deposit taking entity so that you're not going to touch but instances such as maybe insurance um product if you will or maybe just customize based on the industry you're in if you're in trade or if you're in agri how can we customize the lending product now those are kind of the kind of things we're looking into